11.21 p.m. on the 3rd of August. I have another update and it's not what I was hoping. I was hoping to bring some good news to this video, but sadly, it's another L. But with L's come lessons. Life could be worse. So I said in my last video that I was going to do this great plan of creative testing and it didn't work out. In fact, the creatives I was doing were even worse than the ones that I was using before, which, you know, the, the plan didn't work out basically. And I'll, I'll show you right here. So we can see the conversions, you know, it look, it says I got a check. It says I got a purchase here, right? That was my purchases. I, I was so confused why I had all these add to carts and checkouts with no purchases. So I made a test purchase to see if it, if it was broken. Turns out it wasn't, people just weren't buying. And you know, that's a part of the game. Um, sometimes we take L's and we've taken a few L's recently, but that's just the way it goes. That's the way it is. And we move on. Now, while all of that was uh, going on, I was looking for new products just in case it did fail. I was kind of surprised it did, but I had backups just in case. And I came across this. Now, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Shop Hunter. But it basically shows the revenues of people. So, you know, for example, you just come here, you put in the URL of the shop, it has to be on Shopify, by the way, and then you uh, just track it and here it is. Now, this is what you want to be seeing. Look at this revenue that, you know, they started off, it's not 100% accurate, but look, they started off a couple K and recently this skyrocketed here, you know, that's just a blip, but nine, eight you know, 10K per day. These are the charts you want to be doing. And I came across this, I think, yes, yeah, yesterday. And I've, it, yeah, it just blew me away. You know, this is exactly what we want to be seeing. So I've already built a store um, and I just checked out their ads. They're running 240 ads. Now that's a really good sign. That means they're making money. You know, they're creative testing right now. Um, running ads since the 27th or at least you know that's the last recorded one this is what you want to be seeing so what i've done is i built a store and the store is pretty good so this is my store right here pup paradise just a random brand name i picked um let me move this to the side so pup paradise just a random brand name called it the cozy cave uh you know all these different benefits and it goes into some reviews right here. Got the banners going along, cloud like comfort, all that good stuff, comparison tables. Now, this is how you build a website. If you're wondering how you want to build a dropshipping website that converts, this is it. Okay. 99% of the time, it is down to the product. If you're not getting ads to carts, checkouts, or purchases, the product's just shit. All your ads are shit. It's very rarely the website. It's mostly the products, you know, you could have, if you have an amazing product, you can have shit ads, you can have a shit store. That doesn't matter. You need the amazing product. And what we've got here is we've got a, um, we've got a combination of a great product. You know, this is proven right here. We've got proven ads. So we've got great ads and we've got a great store. So, you know, this is what you want to be doing. You want to be putting your chances as high as possible so that each time you do a test, you know, you are making sure all the variables are covered. So if it fails, you know, you did your best. Um, and obviously we're going for the win. Um, but yeah, so that's just a quick update. We took another L, took another failure, but we're back on. We've got a new store. Ads are going live tomorrow and I'm trying something a little bit different with the ads. If it goes well, I'll share that information with you. Uh, there's obviously there's not much point in me sharing it if it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. You know, I'm, st I'm still learning how to best increase my chances. And that's all it is. You know, you just want to be increasing your chances each time. You know, every time you fail, you want to be at least making some sort of progress because this, we, we don't like this. This is not what we want to be seeing. You know, uh, let me show you what we want to be seeing. This is a product I ran up about a month or two ago and you can see here this is exactly like this store just parabolic revenues look at that just bang bang 800 1600 2.8k 4.3k 8k and then we just sat at 8k 
for like two weeks. We hit a 10K day. Um, that's all we want. And you can see here, look at the conversion rate. That's all we want. And that is just a combination of a good product, a good store and good ads. And that's all it comes down to. But the product is the main thing. <clears throat> I built the store in like an hour. It did not take me long at all. Um, but yeah, this is this is exciting. These ads are going live tomorrow. I'm going to let you guys know how it goes because I'm very excited. Hoping this one's going to be a winner. But if it's not, that's okay. We can just move on. We know we did our best. And as long as we keep learning, there's not much more we can do. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Stay tuned.